William. A nice move. Oh, that certain Italia will take too kindly to that. God, please take off the Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Listen, we we take off the crop top, please. Natalia though using her power, Aaliyah. Oh, oh. Roll through is enough to put Natalia away again and a kick out of two. Remember, you went via pinball or submission only. We always talk about the importance of confidence for a competitor here in WWE, and that's what we're seeing with Aaliyah. Yes, they were somewhat controversial victories, but Aaliyah continuing to beat Natalia. Boom. Is, gain, is giving her oh. confidence, which makes for a very, very uh oh cover. It's an Oku driver cover and a kick out by Aaliyah. Again, so this is what Natalia needs to avoid. You see her engaging with the official. Natalia needs to focus on the task at hand, which is Aaliyah. And showing her frustration already tonight, and Aaliyah looking for yet another victory. Roll up again. Natalia two's got a kick out. There you go. Now, okay. Oh, and a Great. best pass. It. Thank you. Aaliyah now hammering away on Natalia. Not sure Natalia expected this tonight. Oh, face first goes Natalia, covered by Aaliyah. Aaliyah cover again. Is it enough to put her away to kick out a two and a half? How impressive has Aaliyah been? I'm extremely impressed with what I've seen from Aaliyah thus far. Let's see what Aaliyah's submission arsenal consists of. Got a grab, finger leg grab applied here. Natalia. Relatively easy escape for Natalia. I think Aaliyah came down hard on the back of her head. Now dragging Aaliyah back to the center of the ring. And Natalia setting up Aaliyah perhaps with a sharpshooter. In the dead center of the ring. Our family tradition. The sharpshooter locked in. Aaliyah with nowhere to go. Trying to drag herself to the bottom rope. Natalia with the sharpshooter locked in. Aaliyah trying to hang on. Makes it to the bottom rope. But remember, no breaks. There's no disqualification. There's no count out. No, oh, no. Aaliyah tapped out. Oh man, the match only lasted three minutes. Like, what is this? What is this booking? Like, honestly. Oh, they've been feuding for it. They are literally feuding over a, gen a Genesis World Record? Are you kidding me? What is this booking? A woman who's had some run-ins with Natalia. And then Natalia. This is the protector, Sia Lee. And then you put Sia Lee on and off TV. How is she going to get over? You got her stuck in the same thing with Natalia for two months. How is, it, how is she going to get over on the main roster? And Sia Lee taking the fight to Natalia who's got to retreat. I just like how like how is she how is she gonna how is Zia Lee gonna get over on the main roster? If you're keeping her off TV, you put you keep her on her off TV. One week she's on TV, and the next four weeks she's not on TV. Like what is this? And then Aaliyah, uh, she was undefeated on the main roster until today. You got her in this stupid feud with, Ita with Italia over a Genesis World Record. Who cares? You know, I, I love Aaliyah. You know? I love Aaliyah. Um, I would love to see her succeed. <laughs> but shoot. Get her some better booking. I'm not saying she got to be a women's champion, but give her a better booking. Like, where is Shashi Blackheart? Um, Jeez, book her as something more meaningful. You got her stuck in the same thing with, with Natalia. Okay, so she beat the woman in 3 minutes and 17 seconds. They made a t-shirt. And then the next week, she wins by disqualification. The next week, she wins by counter. And then the next week, she taps out. What is this booking? I, I don't get it. I want to love Aaliyah. I hope they see something in her. But obviously, does WWE see anything in Aaliyah? I mean, she's on TV. But that, that doesn't mean anything. I, I just don't get the I don't get the booking. I don't get it. <laughs> and she was in NST for seven years. Holy crap. I don't think I know anybody else that's been in NST for that long except for um Cole, Champa, Gargano. And that's about it. But man, get her some better booking, man. You need to start booking fresh. Book the women's division better. Jesus Christ. 
You got Aaliyah. You you got Shasha Blackheart. You don't want to do anything with Shasha Blackheart. You don't want to you you don't want to do anything with Shayna Baszler. You don't want to do anything with um who else? It's the same thing week after week. Matches matches going less than three minutes. Like, bro, how is that going to get anybody over? Stop booking matches with, with three-minute time limits. Because it's not going to get anybody over. It's not. You know, I, I, I want to get invested in Aaliyah. I want to get invested into what she's doing. But when you're booking her in the same matches against the same person week after week after week, I just don't care. Book her in something meaningful. This is why we need a mid card championship and not women's tag team titles. Because they don't mean jack shit, man.